Hollywood's striking writers union said it reached a tentative deal with major studios on Sunday. The agreement is expected to mark an end to the longest-running writer strike in over three decades, which, along with the concurrent actor strike, has halted most film and television production and cost the California economy billions. Writers walked off the job in early May after negotiations reached an impasse over issues including compensation, minimum staffing of writers' rooms, the use of artificial intelligence, and writers' residuals for popular streaming shows. For months, the writers have protested lopsided paychecks for media executives and said working conditions had made it hard for them to earn a middle-class living. The work stoppages took a toll on many operators and small businesses that support film and television production leading to over $5 billion in losses in California and other major U.S. production hubs, according to a Milken Institute estimate. After a months-long impasse, several top industry executives, including from Warner Brothers and Netflix, joined negotiations this week, helping to push a deal along. The Writers Guild of America, which represents 11,500 film and television writers, hailed the agreement as, quote, exceptional, with, quote, meaningful gains and protections for writers. But before the three-year contract can take effect, it must first be approved by WGA leadership and union members. The trade group representing major studios involved in negotiations did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Though the deal is a significant milestone, it will not fully return Hollywood to work, as the SAG-AFTRA Actors Union remains on strike. SAG-AFTRA walked off the job in July over concerns of minimum wages for performers, protections against AI to replace human actors, and fair compensation. The dual strikes had shut down production of movies and TV series and sent late-night talk shows into reruns. In a statement late Sunday, SAG-AFTRA urged major studios to, quote, return to the table and make the fair deal that our members deserve and demand.